Tell you what, you can still see that damn Skeeter logo. It's like faded in there. Camera ain't picking it up, but I can sure as hell tell. Yeah. We'll get it replaced that. I just noticed there's also another sticker here, or was another sticker here. I'm not really sure what it said, maybe oil or something, or... Oh, this used to, I see what it said. Polaris is a star. The camera can pick it up. Yeah. Okay, that's right, because the guy said he used to own Polaris. That's funny. Because there's the star, or the O. Yeah, that's what it was. Polaris. There's a the little sticker right there, and then it must have went across. That's funny. I got a nice big art cap one. I'm going to get made up. Anyway, we're going to go up here. Give me a second. Let's unmask this. See what we got in here. Battery's going to run out of whatever. Now, if the screen part's still good, all I gotta do is just replace the dome. So we're gonna find out right about now. Oh. Damn, this tape's pretty good. This be the Gorilla tape. I tell you what, the stuff's on there. Holy crap. Alright, judging by the looks of it. Wow. This stuff's on there. Sorry about the shakiness, guys, but... Wow. Probably should have brought a knife up with me. Would have made things a little bit easier. I can see my snowmobile from up here. Put this down for a second. Cool though today, guys. That's for damn sure. Uh, there's the hinge. Looks like a squirrel chewed this thing. Alright, let's see what we're going on here. So judging by the looks of it, looks as if gasket's good. Looks like all I gotta do is just replace the dome. Drill out those uh, pop rivets and it'll be a done deal. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, let's go in the inside, check it out. Oh yeah, that is the rust spot I was telling you guys about. Oh yeah, I gotta measure this. Let's see what size this is. A 14. Yep, yeah, this will be a 14 incher. So my plan is to paint from this panel back black, just to cover up the rust. All right, time to get down. I'm gonna walk on this side this time. Do not stand or sit on. Whatever. I'm light anyway. I'm only 130 pounds. I can handle it. All right. Let's go on the inside. Got tape. Fixed all these latches yesterday. Wall them all down. Let's see if this guy will open up. Yeah, this guy works perfect. Articulates like it should. Beautiful. Well, all I gotta get is just the dome. So that saved me money. It's on like a $14 part, I think. So yeah, I fixed these handles yesterday, and actually I just won an eBay auction. 
that I got a matching set of four, all matching keys for a six box master lock. Good pro series too. It's only pretty good. Junk. Junk, junk, junk. So, we're not going to have a whole lot going on today, guys. I plan on going out to that house. Maybe do a little bit of painting. Trash rolls over here. Alright. Oh, don't want to lose that. I just bought that. 99 cents at the box store. Anyway, so. We got going on today. Not a whole lot. I gotta go to that house today. I'm gonna try and knock out another side of that house. Uh, just to get a paint it and stuff. I'm supposed to have a guy come by or, well, in a little bit. Maybe we take a look at that Aaron's power burn there. See if I can't dump that before the winter. It's just too big. Um, you're supposed to call me. He hasn't called me yet. So I don't know what the deal is there. Um, I got a log. Well, my log splitter. I'll be coming in. I think uh, mid next week, I think Dwayne said. He's got a little bit of a phone problem going on right now. He broke his phone, so he doesn't have a phone, so I can't really get a hold of him. And uh, he's usually on box duty, getting boxes, and I've been selling a lot of shit lately. I actually sold these tires, too. All those tires right there are sold. And a few other parts. So that's like a friggin' sold pile that he's already behind on. Not good. Not good, not good. So, oh yeah, I also got to call another dude about another set of tires. But uh, anyway, so that's what's going on today. Michael's going to come by later on today as well. Maybe take a look at these brakes in the trailer. Uh, we either think maybe the bearings are bad on them, or the brakes are were hung up. Because when we picked up the trailer, we just smelled brake, like brake burning. So who's going to pop these? Ooh, these are scary looking. Holy. Wow. <laughs> those are pretty scary looking bolts. I bet it's free some PV blaster on those right about now. I bet you that bearing's junk. I bet you that's what we were hearing. That bearing right there, I bet you it's gone. If it isn't, I'd be surprised. Because we heard a little something on the highway. Yeah, the grease fitting snapped off. See, like this one over here? Oh, wait, no, no. No, no, I lied. It's just missing the rubber boot. I don't know. He's going to take a look at them. Figure out what we need. Tires, pretty decent, like I said. And all of a sudden, it started raining. Yep, so anyway, guys, it's now, let's see, I don't know. Let's see, what time is it? It's probably about 3, 4, 4.30. Yep, 4.30, we'll say. And I uh, just got back from a little bit of painting, but uh, I'll show you what I did before I left there. Underneath all there, I hit it with the wire wheel. Did some of that, I chipped out some of that rotted aluminum parts that are like down the bottom there. Which you can see right along there, going right along the edge. And I think what I'm going to do is either A, get a piece of diamond plate, maybe like two to three inches tall, and just do it right up to where those uh, screws are or get just a regular piece of aluminum and just throw it up that way, either or. But uh, anyway, I just got back from the Home Depot. Letting the heat out, we got the heat just to cranking. Nice and warm, mm. um, So yeah, so just got back from Home Depot, where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. Had to pick up some boxes and stuff like that. I guess uh, going in there, I guess he's sick now. He's doing pretty good this week, I can tell you that. So I had to pick up those boxes for these tires and a few other parts. Um, I picked up some new weather stripping for the trailer. Should work pretty good because that's pretty much the same set that was on, only gray. I mean, the color ain't going to make a difference for me. Um, two cans of the truck bed coating. Figured I'm always going to use one extra anyway. So, figured I'd do that. Uh, I actually ordered up the uh, that vent topper on eBay. Uh, it should be here sometime next week, either Tuesday or next thir uh, Thursday. Um, and it was 18 bucks with shipping, so that's not too bad. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I also want a set of uh, matching locks, master locks, uh, for the trailer there. Uh, so they all run off of one key, 
and I got a good deal on them. It was an auction, and it was seven fifty. I won them, and it came with free shipping. So that's pretty good. So I'll be here sometime next week as well. Can't go wrong with that. But I noticed this morning. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not. But I came by. Boy, I already told you guys. I sorry to show you the Polaris P O L A R I S. On that one little section, and I noticed just a little while ago that there used to be like another decal here. You can kind of still see the fading of it. Not really sure what this one is. It's just like a circle. But I, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go down the street. I think and um, get some decals made up and uh, you know should be a little bit cheaper than the ones I saw on eBay. I saw some on eBay and they're just wicked expensive so I just go down the street I'll get my own decals made up pretty basic just want one big uh, Arctic out one for the back with uh, like a racing flag and uh, two going down the side of it and that's pretty much about it so yeah I was planning on getting this guy in there today but I just don't see that happening you know, so whatever, no big deal, no rush. I got all weekend, I'll be here. And uh, yeah, so at least now I can ship these tires out, so pretty good. Ooh, it's warm right there. Oh yeah. So let's, uh, let's do a time frame here. I got this thing set at 64 degrees, and it's now 65 degrees, uh, 54 degrees. It's 4.30, let's do a little time uh, time frame, I guess. Let's see how that works out, huh? All packaged up and ready to be shipped off, hell yeah! Anyway, so uh, I know I was going to do the timing thing on that, but I was on the phone when the thing kicked off. But it took 15 minutes uh, for... I forget how many degrees it was, I think it was 10 even. Because it was like 55 in here or something like that, so yeah, about 10... 10 degrees up when... So pretty much it takes about a uh, minute and a half, uh, well, about a minute and 25 seconds for that thing to uh, put up a Fahrenheit, I guess we'll say. But I bet you if I had this thing cranked up all the way, like if I put on 90, uh, the flames would probably increase to where it may maybe, you know, bring it up. Because right now the flames are kind of low. There's these little flames underneath here. Well, you can't see right now, but... There's these little flames and you know they grow bigger when it kicks on then slow down so that way it gets the right speed but it was at the uh the slow point but um I, I gotta still call this company back up and just figure out how to adjust that damn uh the damn uh pilot light thing because that thing just rip roaring right now see if the camera yeah, there it is it's just humming away so i gotta get that fixed that way to where it's like a little bit smaller not a you know. But anyway, so that stuff's all packed up, and uh, I think it stopped raining. Okay, maybe I lied. It is still raining. That was stopped raining to where I could do the door, but I guess not. Whatever. No big deal. I got more shit to do in here anyway. All right. Well, I think we're gonna end the video here. Got the sled out of here. Threw it in the trailer real quick. I figured since the uh, kid downstairs was out there, I figured. Uh, just throw it in real fast and we're good to go. So, that's what I did. Anyway, we're gonna end the video here, guys. No, it wasn't much of a video making day. I gotta go out tonight and uh, different things like that. So we'll talk to you guys maybe tomorrow. Not really sure what the plan is. Uh, my attempt to cut these rims off this axle. If this uh, whole tear didn't strip out the other guy there. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, anyway, we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. See ya. Sterling.